Okay, here's a test of the camera. So that's the castle, the palace from the river. Uh, that's the Eiffel Tower in uh, uh, Prague with Sarah Palin. And then over here, that one's Venus and that one's Jupiter. So let's think. Venus is the third brightest object in the sky after the, uh, after the, uh, so you've got to bear in mind that the sun is just about down there, right? And the sun is illuminating Venus, which is actually fairly nearby, and Jupiter, which is a bloody long way away. So Jupiter is almost always the fourth brightest object in the sky. So, yeah, if the, bright, the sun's down there, moon's actually, oh, down about there somewhere. So the moon's not risen yet. Yeah, that's right, the moon's not risen yet. And then you have Venus and Jupiter. Over setting over Prague. And we're all in the same plane. We all actually orbit the sun in the same plane. So actually, we're on the outside of Venus, but we're going slower. And Venus is hammering up on the inside. So Venus at the moment is about half moon. And it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And it's coming out. To, and then, then it'll start to undertake us on the inside. Um, at which point it'll be a huge crescent like that. And so the thing is with Venus, when it, when, it, when it comes out from behind the sun, it's almost a full disk. Yeah. Um, but it's a long way away, so it's a full disk, but it's small. And then as it comes up, as it reaches its highest point in the sky, uh, it, it's a sort of half moon shape. And then as it comes through, past us on the inside, it gets bigger and bigger. And eventually it gets this huge crescent, which is only just not visible with the naked eye. About the same size as Jupiter. Um, and that's just as it sort of undertakes us on the inside, so it goes sort of, it, it rarely crosses in front of the sun, but basically it goes between us and the sun. Um, uh, but the interesting thing is that because it's, the surface brightness stays about the same, so at the moment it's a full disk, and then it gets bigger as a half moon, even bigger as a crescent. The bottom line is the uh, brightness of Venus stays remarkably constant through its orbit. So what you'll see over the next few days is, is Venus is slowly coming around from the Sun and Jupiter is essentially static, but we're, we're, we're sort of moving around the Sun. So what you'll see is Jupiter and Venus will close up together, probably looked up like this, 10 days I would guess. Anyway, so there's a little dance for you to look for in the evening sky, Venus and Jupiter.